Hey gang, in my last weapon mastery video, which will be linked in the description below, I noted that I was finished with my assault rifles and would be moving to carbines next. When I PTFO, I play the engineer class most. Once I unlock the carbines as part of the NG class, I never really looked back to that class's PDWs. In almost no time, I managed the weapon mastery of the ACWR, the MTAR-21, and my all-time favorite, the ACE-21. The carbine with the next highest number of kills is the ACE-52 CQB. This is an excellent carbine. It fires a 7.62 NATO round, just like the Bulldog and SCAR-H. Given that, it has an identical damage model to those two rifles. But unlike those two, its magazine size is a bit bigger, 25 rounds versus their 20. Its rate of fire falls between both of those rifles at 650 RPM. The Bulldog has a 700 RPM, whereas the SCAR-H has a 620 RPM rate. Given its slightly shorter barrel, its muzzle velocity is smaller than the other two at 400 meters per second. The Bulldog and SCAR have a 450 and 410 meters per second velocities respectively. Also, its ADS, or aiming down sight accuracy, is a bit higher than the other two at 0.3, where the other two have a 0.25 and 0.2 respectively. In this case, a lower number is more accurate. I thought about stabbing this guy at first, and then said screw it, I need the ace kills anyway. I decided to configure its sights per my usual, the Cobra which I unlocked in the first or second battle pack, and the 2 times magnifier. I tamed the .45 upward recoil with the brake, which of course introduced a bit of inaccuracy. I also fitted it with the ergo grip, though I'm not sure why at this point. That will help with hip fire but it's arguably a better idea to add the angled foregrip to tame the 2.3 first shot multiplier, or the stubby to improve ADS accuracy. All stats aside, I was able to buzz through the required 510 kills for the final battle pack pretty quickly with this carbine. I just clicked with it, though I'll still default to the ACE-21 when I PTFO as an engineer. Leading targets was a bit harder with this carbine than it was with the various assault rifles that I just finished up, but once I got used to the muzzle velocity, it worked out pretty well. Here's the 500th kill in the service star. You'll note that the dog tag never showed up. Apparently the Ace-52 is one of a few weapons that DICE never implemented a dog tag for. I hadn't realized that was the case when I started this process. There are a few weapons, in fact, which have no tag available. Whether that's a bug or intentional, I can't really say. But I'll keep working towards the required 510 kills with all the weapons regardless. And here comes the last battle pack. The carbine with the next highest kills is the AK-5C, which is the first carbine you unlock. Stay tuned for its mastery and final battle pack. Thanks for watching, and see you back here soon. Let's